Science School in Gulling has approximately 400 students, divided on five institutes. We look out into the world in order to understand and interpret the world that surrounds us. A world that consists of critical issues such as hunger, water scarcity, civil wars, refugees, loneliness, diseases, poverty, violence, just to mention a few. We work with critical issues and complex problems seen in a both local and global perspective. And this is how we work. The first step is to define the problem and do a thorough research on the subject. And then divide the problematic into the areas that drives the problem. It is then possible to establish what kind of people the problem involves, what they do, think, feel. But the solution must also be seen in a future perspective in order to imagine the impact and consequences of it. At Design School in Culling, we have created solutions seen in a global and ethical perspective. We have dared to imagine a new definition of design. I imagine my students, when they leave the school, are able to work in the societies that they find themselves in, solve their problems from an ethical perspective, and do it aesthetically. We imagine a communication system between Danish citizens and politicians in order to create an open dialogue about politics, take democracy to a new level. We imagine a community and a campaign that encourages you to take a stand and suit yourself in active and ethical perspective. We imagine. We imagine. We imagine. We imagine. We imagine. We imagine. So, what drive the design students are teachers, critical issues, and the world surrounding us. The world is our stage, the critical issues are the perspective of our solutions, and the teacher is our guide. We, the students, are the problem solvers, in a world boiling with critical issues that need both immediate and future solutions. And the state of the world is our future scenario.